What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and welcome back to the second ever Second Look music video reaction for the newest song from Rainbow. And you know, in these videos we go a little bit deeper into the actual song. It's not your normal music video reaction. Uh, break it down and talk about it, present some clips to highlight the points that I'm making and you know, just in general, go a little bit, go a little bit deeper than my first impressions and present, you know, what I guess could be my final thoughts. So we're going to do rainbow. We're going to do woo. It's going to be fantastic. And let's get started with it. So basically the main reason why I absolutely love this song is because this is a return to their old personality as a group. I said this in my music video reaction, um, their previous album to this one was a huge, huge departure and change from what the group is known for, you know, what the group has done, what the group's been, become comfortable doing. And, you know, I like the group as that way, right? And I also like the group as, you know, the Black Swan concept and all, all that stuff as well. But on the other hand, like this was really, really fun to watch and listen to and just everything about it was lots of lots of fun. Um, you know, they're playing to the to the group name of Rainbow, where every single member literally in the music video is represented by a different color. But, you know, it's also kind of, you know, in a way to indicate, you know, that each member brings their own thing, their own aspects to the group that, you know, as a whole makes the group. And if they were missing one, then they wouldn't particularly, they wouldn't necessarily be, you know, the group that they are right now. So that's really, really awesome. Um, it's really, really great to see them return from the, um, or yeah, right. So like I said, to return to their you know preferred thing. And I think that the when you look at the music video, that you know you might say or you could say that it is you know kind of you know implied or sim or there's there is a symbolism or you know pictured in the video um, that they have gone from you know that dark sort of uh, black swan look to the more colorful one. When the fact that like um, at least when they're doing individual shots with this, you get the black bars or, you know, there's, there's some black outline on the vid on the, to the video screen and then it's white on the back and then the members, and then the members colored, right? So it's like, you know, the black and the white background where they, where I guess you could say what they used to be, but now they're, you know, colored. It's just, it's just a thing, you know, maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe other people are reading too much into it, but that's, you know, just the thing. But, you know, the big thing, which has nothing to do with this specific music video, but we're gonna, but it kind of does at the same time. Is um, people's reactions to the video, uh, specifically comments about the video itself, and you know, I've, I, there were people that commented on the music video, the people that commented on my specific reaction video, who said that they were disappointed in the video and they thought that it looked cheap, and. I don't understand, I don't see how this is a cheap music video. Um, it definitely is not like, you know, visually flashy on the, when you look at most of the other, like 99% of the other uh, music, K-pop music videos out there, this is uh, definitely very, very bare and minimalistic. But to me, it doesn't look cheap. And just because, you know, minimal, a minimal style that is well done, doesn't mean that the music video itself was cheap to make. It doesn't mean that it looks cheap. I can show you, you know, videos, and I'm sure if you've been following K-pop for a little while, you've seen plenty of music videos that are actually cheap, so you know that this one specifically is not cheap. So that kind of just, you know, irritates me, because, you know, with the, when you say it's cheap, right, you say that it's like you didn't have the money to, you know, hire some, like a hire a, a director or producer for the music video who was very good, right, so then, you know, you generally, even if they've got great ideas and it's not executed that well, then it looks pretty bad. This one looks really, really good. It was executed well. The idea, you know, even if it wasn't something that was, you know, specifically, like, visually um, stunning, it was pulled off very, very well. It looks very crisp and clean, um, you know, and maybe, maybe that's the reason why people think that it's, it's cheap because it's not like visually just crazy. There's not all kinds of cool and interesting elements to the music video to look at and take in, um, which is like, yeah, I understand that. But on the other hand, like maybe people or, you know, K-pop fans have just become used to the fact that like you, you've got overproduced music videos 
with unnecessary and excessive uh, visuals added to their music video sets and stuff like that. Um, where when, when one doesn't specifically have that, then it just does, then apparently it's cheap. And, you know, that doesn't really make any sense to me. Another aspect that I thought about is maybe everyone's going into this with the whole, you know, thought and idea that DSP as a company is poor. And so they couldn't afford to actually put together something that it, a, a music video that is visually striking. And, you know, that flat out, I don't think is true. Um, I don't think the people who say that really know what they're talking about. Nobody knows what they're talking about on that regard because, you know, DSP is a very, very big company, not only in music, but in acting as well. They have, they have a very, very strong, um, you know, lineup of actors and actresses that are signed to them. So that's where they make a lot of money, on, you know, on top of their music. Um, you know, and I think, and, and for me personally, right, just think about this, right? So me, me personally, even though it is a minimalistic style, I still think that it is visually striking, right? It is very, very, you know, uh, visually striking. As I said with the earlier, with the whole like kind of scenes or the shots that kind of symbolize the change from the black to the colors, you know, those scenes with the black, with the you know white background, the black borders, com you know, with the contrast to the member dressed in whatever color it is, right? That's, you know, very, very contrasting. That is very, very striking. That pops, that pops, right? That's fantastic. That's really, really great. Um, you know, like I said, highlights the return of them going from dark to from dark to color, returning from the dark, I, whatever, you know, however you want to say it. Um, you know, I think maybe the one thing that I could say is not necessarily cheap, but I think it's just a style choice that looks kind of terrible or the is the font that they use for the text. Um, it looks really old and dated. And I think, you know, style choice and all that stuff, but just because something is old doesn't mean it's cheap or bad or bad choice you know it just is like that's the way that they went it looks old and that's the way it goes you know i don't know maybe maybe that's the thing that people see and then it puts a thought in their mind that you know the entire thing is is cheap but you know that's really the only complaint that i can have about the music video another scene that i think is visually striking is the group shots right when that black and, and the white uh you know, room basically, because it's like entirely everything is in a white room where you've got the color changing, you know, the, the color changes, the color of the lighting changes. Uh, that's really awesome, too. I mean, like, look at this. You can put a group or whatever in a white room and you can do so much with lighting. It's not even funny, right? Like lighting is is probably the most important thing in any sort of video that you shoot. You can do amazing things you know, lighting sets the tone, it sets the mood, it sets the scene, you know, you can change the lights colors to do cool things, to bring cool effects, to, you know, make the wall and the entire just screen look a certain color. And they did that really, really well in this. They used colored light just fantastically to, you know, create something that looked cool, even if it wasn't a complex, you know, look and scene, right? It wasn't complex, but it was, it visually stood out and you know, I, I noticed that as something that was really, really cool. But that's just maybe, that, again, maybe that's just the way that I'm looking at this from, you know, my perspective. So that's enough about the music video, because that's whew, plenty, plenty. Um, the one thing, right, about the vocals is that they are super, super fun, right? The opening um, verse, I guess not the verse, but, the, but they open with the hook on the song, and instantly I, I was hooked. And then it didn't, it didn't like the verse didn't like drop off, man. The verse, go, it went. So from the hook, it just took off like you've been, you know, shot like an airplane being shot off an aircraft carrier. It just went. And that was really, really fantastic. Um, the choruses, I think, kind of sound kind of like deep as if like, you know, multiple members are singing, like the vocals are kind of layered or whatever. I'm not a super, I'm not into the music aspect, so I don't know what I'm talking about in this regard, but you know, you listen to it, I think you might understand what I'm talking about. So that's really, really fantastic. And the last chorus is probably the best one out of all of them. And I think it's really, really fantastic. <laughs> With that being said, and heard and listened to and all of that, we're just gonna end the video here because I've gone on for pretty, I've gone on for long enough, 
I've talked about everything that I want to talk about, so we're going to end it. What did you think about this song? Now that you've had a couple weeks to listen to it and, you know, understand and watch the music video and stuff like that, you know, let me know down in the comment box below. Do you want to see more of these videos? How do you think that they can be improved? You know, let me know. You can also follow me on social media. I've got a Twitter and Facebook. Also, Instagram. There's links to those profiles in the description box below. So... That is going to be it for this video. As always, I'm going to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. You're part of the company. They got you. You kind of have to do what your boss tells you to do, and so they did. Um, and this is something that for this release, you know, they had input on it on you know what they wanted to do and stuff like that. So it wasn't something that they were particularly forced to do, so that they were unhappy with it. And clearly.